got okay, so, you got your full scene assessment. What, what happened? Done. Why is it right on Marine? Uh, <laughs> <extra card. laughs> Alright, it's enough. So, full, full scene assessment. Okay, so what happened was this gentleman here is taking a fall seven meters off a rooftop. Okay, and uh, landed on a pile of dirt. And he landed onto his uh, right side, but then he rolled over onto his back. He's collecting his right pelvic area. So we're actually going to introduce you to pelvic injuries at the same time. Why not? Okay. Um, kind of let me go through the scenario. We can talk about it after. I do want you to also pay attention to how I tie the feet. Because if there's a suspicious, suspected pelvic injury, you cannot rotate the feet. You cannot rotate the feet. So they got to stay. No, I'll take my sweater off. Because it's going to get really take it off. Woo! Oh, <laughs> okay. Do think much embarrassed? embarrassed. Okay. Uh, Sheriff Fraser, you want to help me out? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so stand up. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Okay. So, seven meter fall, one patient, no hazards. We had to time everything. Okay, we're going to do it for real time. I'm going to go a little bit slow today. Just to kind of, so we're all on the same page here, okay? Um, so due to the mechanism, we suspect a spinal injury. You're not going to start till I touch him, eh? Um, so due to, this, due to the, uh, the fall, the mechanism, he's automatically RTC, right? Because he fell over six and a half meters, eh? Right, head tilted towards left. Pale skin, eyes are open, he's clutching on his right pelvic area, he's complaining about a lot of pain. Okay, so, um... Rob, stay still, it's Tommy. I'm going to first aid, I'm going to help you out, okay? It's 1.38 on my clock. Hold on to your head and neck here. Any pain, let me know resistance level stop. Okay. Come on down here, Frazier. Put your right elbow next to my right elbow. Yeah. Left next to my left. Yeah. Got it? Everybody's clear. Check their breathing rate for 15 seconds. Just breathe for anybody. He says, oh, it's my pelvic area that hurts. You know, we'll get to that in a few moments here. Okay, we got 16 and effective. Check the radial pulse. Beep, beep, beep. Skin is pale, cold, and clammy. I'll turn the O2 right on. Leo, you can shut it off for me, buddy. Here. Color to taste the odorless gas here, hissing sound here. Okay, can you hold this for us, Rob? Yeah, turn it off, buddy. Make you feel better. Did you hurt yourself anywhere else at all? Just no, it's just my area on my side here. Any difficulty breathing through? No. Come down here. I notice there's an injury there. Okay. I'm going to expose it, take a look at it. This point of tenderness, this redness. Okay. I'm just going to have a helper hold this in place. Okay. Done. We'll see that it's there. Just for, just for now, just so yeah. everybody can see it. There's no blood okay. though, right? There's no, no blood, just some redness, mild deformity, point tenderness. Do you feel any numbness or tingling, buddy? No? Feel me touching you, Rob? Say yes. No. Okay. <laughs> my decision on my patient is they are RTC. Okay. So, first of all, RTC means oxygen, which is already on. Okay, so now C, collar, measure. Now I believe he's... Neck. Yes. Feel any pain when I put this on? Okay. Is this too tight? No. Is it okay? You can help me on the side. Come on, move back on the side, please, Wayne. So just bring, keep, we'll bring his heels together, but I need you to keep his feet apart. Yeah. You can't let them rotate because he's got a possible pelvic injury. Okay, does that make sense, people? Yeah. yeah. Only for the pelvic injury, right? Okay. Heels together. 
much. So what we're gonna do here is look at what I'm doing here. I'm measuring his eyes right along with this middle notch right here. You guys just all stand up and take a look at this. In the middle right of Right in the one. middle of the notch. Yeah. Okay. Put it up here. All right. So you go to the side here and take overhead neck support here. Good. You wanna go to the side there. Good. Okay, you guys want to just, uh, this can both help me. You just put his arm on his abdomen, no, he's fine, we're out. All right. On the count of three, we're going to lift him up. So be careful you're not aggravating his pelvic area. So on the count of three, we're going to put him on the side, keep him on the side. It's going to hurt a little, buddy, okay? One, two, three. Okay, keep him on the side. Okay, so this, so I'm going to do is pat down his back, just with one hand, make sure there's no other injuries found. Okay, put him on the side more. One, two, three, on the side more. He's on the side or not. There you go. Check his back, no other injuries. Okay, what I want you to do now here, Corey, is just lift the board, uh, tuck it right underneath his body. Okay, got it? Okay. Notice the blanket's off a little bit, off the board. Okay, on the count of three, I want you to push them on the board. When, you, when they do, I want you to push the board in. One, two, three. Push it, push it. Excellent, good job. Excellent. So what I'd like you to do slightly is uh, do me a favor, do it while you're down, and just gently lift his feet up just a little bit, minimally, just, just to rotate them on, on the board a little bit better. There you go, perfect. And now what I want you to do is I want you to cross your arms. I want you to bulldoze them on the board. Everybody, I want you to cross your arms and grab onto the little holes that are on the spine, on the spine board. Cross your arms, grab on the board, perfect. Now what I'd like you to do over here, Corey, is be careful, don't move them too much. I want you to grab the board and put your, put your knees against the board. On the count of three, we're gonna slowly lift, slowly push them on the board. Just minimally, one, two, three, stop. Right. You better move his upper body a bit more. Right here. One, two, three. Stop. Could you can solid knee was a little shift. Okay. All right, good. Come on back over here, Fraser. Hey, gentlemen. You know, I got him on the board. Left over left. Right over right. <clears throat> okay, reassess the ABCs. There was clear. We're timing the breathing rate. How are you doing, buddy? Helper over here still holding. Why is your helper holding? Uh, he's just supporting. He's Sorry. supporting the head, yeah. So you don't get your ticket. No, uh. It's <laughs> <laughs> head. It's head. He's supporting his head because it's giving. He's giving some support. Okay. So it's an aggravate. It's falling apart. It's separating. Yeah. Separating. So, so just kind of help him hold it. Don't there. Don't help me, guys. Try not to get any help here. Here's what well, you looks like you need it. So. It's not a one man job. <laughs> looks like I need it. <laughs> I'm paying for therapy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I do actually. Why is it? Okay, so put this over here across there, <clears throat> middle. That's called a spider strap? These are spider straps, yeah. The blocks, I think, think I could use those on all my sexual escapades. Please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks for saying that while I'm in it. Charge an extra 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those of you who are not familiar with these, you want to watch here, okay? So this is the, you actually go into the third, you have to really see it here, you go into the third hole. Okay, the top one's here, second one, the third one here. You notice I'm not going to tighten it. Okay. <coughs> it goes underneath here. Do you have to do this so the helpers can help you out with this? Uh, no, in the exam, you have to provide proof that you can do this on your own. Okay. Do this on your own, like get them on the spine board by yourself? Yeah, you know. ABCs, how often? Five minutes. Okay. Vitals every ten. So it goes three, four, uh, holes three, four, five? So notice this one's at an angle. Oops, I need an extra blanket. That one's flat right there. Any one of these. Any flat blanket. I don't have that one flat one. I'll grab that one. That's as far as that goes. Yeah. Put <coughs> an extra blanket right across the pelvic area here. Just to just prevent any prevent further aggravation to his pelvic injury. Okay. And I put this at an angle. Does that mean it's going through a different hole or what? Yeah. Three, four, five, and six. You gotta figure out which it is depending on the person's height, right? Oh, okay. Excuse me.
chill. Okay. So now what I do is I go up here. Okay, you gotta feel a bit of pull, okay? And then out. In. Higher up on the rest plate. Get them to the mail. You gonna take a rebar then? is centered. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have fun with you after. <laughs> okay, so in in the past you mentioned that you can't you can't release a C spine until they tied to the board. Now, no one's no one like C spine yet. No, no no but the now we just have ABCs. Somebody's holding A B C somebody's whole soul in the spine. Yeah. Breathing. 24, <laughs> pulse present, skin. It's way too long for work. Go here, hold on. So you're holding on. Let go, stand up and walk around. Mirror my image, please. One foot over, elbows supported. Where's my kids? Oh, what is my kids? Can you imagine doing this in a heavy snowstorm? Close your eyes, please. I should have used Clayton down here. I'm having a hilarious. I'm not doing here. Yeah, rolling down the stairs and I'm like, oh, whoops. <laughs> well, not you, Clay, in a different place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you put your hands down. Front. Them? Yeah, so right over top of his eyes. No, it's not freaking out. He's going to go in all freaking out. Holy cow. Crush his face. This is a relief you don't have any equipment really, eh? <laughs> All right. Good. So that's considered taking care of his C-spine? Yeah, why do you have to put so many blankets on him? Well, that's because the pelvic injury. It wasn't for the pelvic injury, what did you do? So what, how long was Are that? Are you comfy? How long did that take you then? <clears throat> oh, shit, I didn't look at time. Uh, that was 11 minutes for me. So is that... Which was it? 38, I started at 39. Yeah, 11. Well, let's say 12 minutes. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. So I went a little slow right now. So is that... But, uh, but you want to get under 15. Okay. So you're supposed to, because the pedal, pedal, you no, don't, don't, don't like let him go side. quite yet. No? You want to just take a little bit of everything to look at uh, side things too? Yeah. No, you don't worry about that. Shouldn't have volunteered, huh? Yeah. So how many times do you have to turn the legs <laughs> once? So I was like, huh? you know, okay. do you have to only tie the legs once? Tie the legs once? What do you mean? With the yeah. strap. This one? Yeah. Yep. Okay, there's other one. I mean, for non-RTC, when we're doing spinal mobile, we're doing leg splints. You just put that on your elbow. Lift your elbow. Relax your arms. Cool. Tie his arms. So that means the arms don't flap. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to, but you can get another one and tie him over top. Really, it doesn't have it depends to be on the height of the person. Okay. So take a look at him from here. Notice this, this for the most part the horizon stripe is down the center. Okay. You gonna take a good look at it? What are you gonna do? No, this blanket is not needed regularly. No, it's not. It's only we only give them. And usually, this is a small, much smaller blanket. So, so another, the, another reason why I didn't get so much. What just and the one middle strap, strap is the angular one? Yeah, it's the angle one. It should go across here. It should go across your pelvis. It should never go on your abdomen alone. It's at an angle, so it doesn't go down here a little bit. And these ones, and these ones too. Have to every find the iliac crest. Yeah. 